Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the worst 6 star powers currently inside of Brawl Stars. So these are the star powers that desperately need a buff and just get no love inside of the game at the moment. So I'm looking at releasing a Power League guide again Monday. So make sure you're subscribed and turn notifications on not to miss that one. So also before we get into today's video, make sure you're using the credit code in the shop. It'd be greatly appreciated. So without further ado, Let's jump into today's video. All right, guys, so jumping into this sixth worst star power currently inside of the game, I think it's going to be uh, be with the Honeycomb star power. So you guys are probably wondering, what well, there's probably a lot more uh, worse star powers out there, but I think for sure it's probably the bottom 10 star powers inside of the game. Now, no one really talks about it because no one really uses it, right? I don't see anyone inside a competitive, inside a power league, or whatever else uses star power. It's always the other star powers. So I think that's one of the main reasons why I put it so low. It's because you don't really see much value out of it. 20% shield, not really too much. Honeycoat was the star power before this one got introduced. And that was so much better. You get uh, basically an extra life with that. And with this one, you get 20% shield. But for the most part, you're just going to be firing your shot like straight away with a 3k. And if you miss the one 3k, you don't get another one. But with the other star power, you get two. So everything about the other star power is just so much better. Hence the reason why I've put it at number six. So in terms of other star powers that just missed out i don't want to ruin obviously too much uh, but some other ones that just missed out on the bottom six i've got uh baron's first star power i think it's called malaise i don't really think you get much value out of that creepy harvest is always in the bottom 10 star powers in the game not really the best right now screeching solo not really the best uh, you've got the likes of both of squeak star powers i think that's probably because squeak's just terrible right uh, but not the best as well and also i've got amber's uh second star power on the bottom 10 as well so those are just some really bad star powers as well uh, Dynamite does try and score that. D isn't able to convert it. Uh, okay, I'm going to go down here. So at least I'm going to super the Eggos. So uh, the speed boost doesn't actually come into play with that one. So yeah, as I was saying, just don't get any value out of this star power. And uh, I just think it needs like a small improvement, right? Probably just needs like a 30% shield. 35% shield and you might start to see people use this one. But 20%... It's just basically nothing. I don't even know if that changes any interactions, right? You guys probably know in the comment section whether it changes any interactions, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't really change anything about her. So I'm uh, looking to try and get a kill onto B. Again, I haven't got a second 3k shot, so if I miss one, it's just going to be so crucial in me getting the kill. So that's going to be the sixth worst star power. Let's hop into number five. All right, guys, so moving into the fifth worst star power currently inside of a game. It is Gene with this spirit slap. So the spirit slap is going to be good in showdown, but again, this is going to be 3v3 modes. Uh, so showdown obviously it's going to be great because you can't heal up anyone unless it's duo showdown uh, but inside of normal gameplay i just don't see the point in spirit slap uh, especially if you're not hitting them directly you're only going to be uh adding a li literally like 20 damage or something like that for the most part you want to be using your pull as soon as you get it or just keeping it uh for pressure but uh yeah i don't really see any value with it the other star power gene is probably the best star power inside of a game and uh literally <laughs> this one's just one of the worst ones inside of a game. So hopefully Mortis is able to score there. Okay, he gets caught out uh, by the Rosa. Should be able to get that turret down. But again, I can't heal my teammates because I've got the Spirit Slap star power. For the most part, it's a bit of a meme star power. I don't know how it would really improve this. I don't know if it's in need of a rework or whatever else. But yeah, I'm going to be using that star, the other star power every single time. So I might be able to get the Rosa down here. No, okay, that's not uh, the case right there. Our cult is pretty damn bad right now. and We've literally done nothing so far, but it doesn't really matter about the result because Spirit Slap is just completely trash. So that's going to be the fifth uh, worst star power currently inside of a game. Let's hop into number four. All right, guys, so jumping into the fourth worst star power currently inside of Brawl Stars, it is Lou with the Hyperthermia star power. So a lot of you guys seem to think that this Hyperthermia star power can have some f uh, form of value inside of a game right now, but I'm really against that, guys. I don't think this star power has like any value for the most part when you're going to be shooting at people you're going to be freezing them right and the other star power just pairs so well uh with the super that i just can't see seem to find a reason to use this other star power it's really hard to find value and again the big point that i keep stemming back to is that when i'm shooting someone i'm not going to really like freeze them just a half bit but the majority of the part i'm going to be getting the full freeze that means that i'm not getting any value out of star power and yeah, it's just not the greatest right now. So I don't know if it needs a complete rework because I've tried buffing it quite a few times. And I just don't think it has the like overall mechanics uh, to be good enough to use instead of the other one, unfortunately. But yeah, it's really uh, unfortunate for Lou. <laughs> like it would be actually really toxic if his star power got some uh, good love. 
uh, because imagine imagine like the whole enemy team get like a 75% decrease in their reload speed. It would just be so, so toxic. It would be so hard to win your lane, uh, but it's hardly the case. Lose shots are also really hard to hit as well. That might be another reason why it is pretty hard. I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section below. I'm always interested to hear your guys' suggestions with these star power changes because it's definitely in need of a change. So that's going to be the fourth worst star power in the game. Let's open to number three. All right, guys, so jumping into the third worst star power currently inside of a game, it is Belle with her grounded star power. I think this is a really obvious choice. I'm guessing a lot of you guys probably would have got this right uh, from the get-go just by looking at the title. This star power is just absolutely useless. Her positive feedback star power is one of the best inside of a game, and this one just not really finding any value. It only stops reload for three seconds. For the most part, the super is quite hard to hit, and also... Uh, yeah, just like stopping ammo for three seconds, it's not really going to help in that many engagements. I mean, it has like a tiny bit of usage, right? If like a melee brawler is uh, close to you, like a mortis or something like that, you know, using the super on them, it's actually going to be pretty uh, crucial in staying alive. But other than that, it's just no real value in this. So, yeah, I'm going to try and... Well, okay, I've missed both of my star pack, uh, both of my super sets. So it kind of proves that it's a little bit hard to hit uh, for the most part, unless it's like a slow on them. Or something like that so i'm getting some good ricochet shots at least it's got like an indirect uh buff with the balance changes last time around where uh, even the bounce shots count towards the super charging which of course means yeah super a little bit more so you might find a little bit more value than before with a star power but again just not really the best right now definitely wouldn't uh, pick it up in the shop if you see it it's not even worth having this star power honestly it's not going to change the way that you play bell at all really so yeah just definitely do not buy this in the shop if it appears uh, anywhere close to it so we need to get this collect down i don't know if she, why she's really selecting that super crow only does a little bit of damage so i don't really mind just leaving him on the safe let's try and super this poco so okay we're super the poco we stop his reload for a little bit uh, but it doesn't matter we're going to be finishing off the game uh, pretty soon right there so that's going to be the third worst star power currently inside of brawl stars let's open to number two all right guys so hopping into the second worst star power currently inside of a game it is surge with the two the max star power so this star power Obviously, it's going to have some use inside of a showdown. Uh, but if you don't play showdown and, you know, you actually want a decent star power that can actually benefit you in the way you play, uh, then, yeah, you don't want this star power at all. So, uh, basically, the reason why it's so bad, the other star power lets you keep the second level even when you die. Uh, but this one, obviously, if you die, you lose all your levels, which with Surge at the moment in this type of meta does die a lot. So you're not going to really find too much value out of it. And also, you're not really going to be shooting at walls too much, right? You're only going to get value out of this star power once you get to fourth level because that's once uh, when your shots split the most. So I should be able to walk this one. Okay, nope. We're not going to walk that one in. We're going to completely choke that one. So I'm going to keep my level here. I know I'm going to die. So it's even more crucial when I use this star power to actually save your levels every single time because you don't keep them so luckily enough i've actually kept my super so at least get my second level here you just gotta be extra careful with leveling it up with a stop house somehow on mortis is able to score you love to see it still got three tps left and as you can see uh, they've sc we've scored and i'm at a disadvantage now because i've not spawned in with my second level which is entirely frustrating uh i can't really get any value against the still i'm just gonna tp up against this rico trying to take him down at least i got my second level here so we've got a little bit of movement speed I'm able to two-tap him there. But majority of the part, again, with Surge, you're going to be hitting your shots directly on them, right? You're going to be TPing on them, and you're just going to be tapping or swim or just aiming your shots directly on them. You're not going to be trying to hit a wall really at all. There's only going to be a few circumstances where you're going to be able to get value out of this star power. It's just not that great at all. So that's going to be the second worst star power. Let's hop into number one. All right, guys. So hopping into the worst star power currently inside of a game. I've picked Jesse with Shocky. So, of course, I think you can change a lot of these different star powers in the list uh, from 1 to 6. But I just hate this star power, guys. It really infuriates me when I'm playing ladder, even at, like, low trophies, like, 750 trophies. And it's just a Jesse on the enemy team. You guys have definitely experienced this before because it's so, so popular. So, just get a Jesse just like that. Just throw a turret onto the safe and just hoping the Shocky gets a lot of value. I just don't see this star power getting any value whatsoever. That turret can get taken down so easily uh, without the energized star power. And again, against better skilled players, they're just not going to be bunching up. They're not going to be getting much value out of the Shocky star power. So, yeah, like the noob build really is the build that I'm using right now in a heist. You know, they just get the turret. They use the gadget. So, the gadget's actually decent, but Shocky, I just don't think it's great at all. 
don't see much value with it uh really of course people in 500 trophies are going to be like well shocky's probably the best star power in the game right uh but <laughs> it's just really not i do hate this star power a lot so again i'm going to be boosting up uh, my gadget see here it's not really getting any value i mean at least it's bouncing onto rico and bouncing onto the safe there uh but i'll just get a lot more value if i'm spending my ammo shoot my turret healing it up keeping it alive and then it enables you to cycle your uh super a lot easier so should be able to get the record down now he's one shot he's using rubber retreat so i can't get him down i'm just gonna ignore him there uh, because he's uh, pretty annoying i'm close to my turret again i've only got one gadget left i want to try and get some good value out of this it's a nice charge from our bull so i'm just gonna throw the turret in these guys's faces shock is gonna go to absolute work there i don't think it really goes onto the safe Again, the shocky. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the turret off much. Yeah, it just gets deleted. It's like a brutal light cult as well. It's just going to full clip it once and it's basically dead. It's just really annoying, the star power. Okay, two minutes left. Uh, 30 seconds left. I mean, that Rico just absolutely destroys us. Honestly, looking like we could be losing this game now. Okay, Bull's going to get absolute deleted. Oh no, the Primo running it onto the safe. Hopefully, Spike has the other gadget. Don't think he does. I'm going to throw the turret up into this guy's faces it gets completely destroyed again nine percent to thirteen percent rico's not even going to be shooting a wall when he uses gadget there which is quite hilarious ball charges onto the safe okay this could be really intense come on spike i believe in your buddy i believe in your buddy come on spike do it quick go 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 no okay we do lose that one but it doesn't really matter we're at 650 uh trophies so i don't mind losing that one but yeah that's gonna be it for today's video guys let me know of your worst star powers in the comment section below i think this one's a little bit biased because i just get so annoyed especially when i'm playing on my mini accounts or whatever and people just use this star power it's just so frustrating a really bad star power definitely do not use this if you've got it so that's going to be it for today's video hope you enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time